Stories of the Century is a 39-episode Western television series starring Jim Davis that ran in syndication through Republic Pictures between January 23, 1954, and March 11, 1955. Synopsis Jim Davis, who later played Jock Ewing on the CBS series Dallas, portrayed the role of fictitious Southwest Railroad detective Matt Clark. Davis also narrated each episode. Mary Castle co-starred in 26 episodes as Clark's attractive assistant, Frankie Adams. Castle left the program and was replaced by Kristen Miller who appeared in 13 episodes as Margaret Jones, or Jonesy. Historical episodes. Clark and his female associates traveled the American West weekly seeking to capture the most notorious badman. Clark's appearances seemed contrived, as when he appears just at the time young Robert Ford was assassinating Jesse James. Otherwise, the stories have a limited educational value because each episode follows the basic facts of history. The budget for the series was quite modest. Though fictional, the black-and-white program uses newspaper accounts and some historical records to enforce historical accuracy. The episodes focus on the capture of notorious bad men, such as John Wesley Harden, Billy the Kid, Sam Bass, Clay Allison, Bill Doolin, the Dalton brothers, the younger brothers, and Johnny Ringo, with Donald Curtis in the role of the outlaw Johnny Ringold or John B. Ringold. Fess Parker, Myron Healy, and Robert Bray appeared as the Dalton brothers, Grat Bob and Emmett Dalton, respectively. Robert Knapp played the former Fort Worth Marshal Jim Courtright, who established a protection racket in his city until his clients rebelled and he was gunned down by Luke Short, portrayed in the episode by Wally Castle. Chris Drake and Paul Sorensen were cast as deputies turned bandits Bert Alvord and Billy Stiles, who operated in the Arizona Territory early in the 20th century. Morris Ankrum and John Smith, later of NBC's Cimarron City and Laramie played businessmen Chris Evans and John Sontag, respectively, who turned to train robbery to thwart the Southern Pacific Railroad. Jimmy Dodd of the Mickey Mouse Club appears as a deputy in this episode, which takes considerable liberty with historical facts. Other segments focus on Doc Holliday, Tom Horn, Nate Champion, Cherokee Bill, Black Jack Ketchum, Black Bat, Augustum Chaken, Crazy Horse. Harry Tracy, The Wild Bunch of Wyoming, William Quantrill, Geronimo, Frank James, Billy the Kid, Henry Plummer, Bell Star, and Cattle Kate Watson. Guest Stars Notable guest stars included Marie Windsor as Bell Star, the series premiere, with Stuart Randall appearing in this episode as a sheriff, Richard Jekyll as Billy the Kid, Lee Van Cleef as Jesse James, Tyler McDuff as Bob Ford. Rodolfo Hoyos, Jr. as the Mexican outlaw and folk hero Augustin Chaikin, Steve Brody as Harry Tracy, Henry Brandon as Nate Champion, the first casualty of the Johnson County Range War in Wyoming, and Richard Webb as John Wesley Harden. Jean Parker appeared as Ella, Cattle Kate, Watson, and James C. portrayed her companion, the storekeeper James, Jim, Averell. Don Haggerty played the band at Sam Bass, however, Haggerty was 40 when he donned the role of bass. But the real bass was gunned down at the age of 27 in Round Rock, Texas. Denver Pyle portrayed bass henchman Bill Hayes. Leo Gordon, known for his mastery of brutish characters, portrayed Bill Doolin, the native Arkansan who founded the Wild Bunch and was shot to death as he escaped from prison. Pat Hogan appeared as Crawford Goldby, or Cherokee Bill, the notorious outlaw from Oklahoma, ordered by U.S. District Judge Isaac Parker to be hanged for multiple crimes committed by the age of 20. Judge Parker, played by Pierre Wodkin, had first given Goldsby imprisonment, but after the outlaw's escape and the commission of further crimes, Parker ordered him to be executed. Brad Johnson had a minor role as a deputy on a train who was stabbed by Cherokee Bill. At this time, Johnson was also portraying Deputy Sheriff Lofty Craig on the Western series Annie Oakley. Other guests 
Jack Kelly as gunfighter and cattleman bandit Clay Ellison, Chief Yao Lachi as Geronimo, with Brett King in this segment as Lieutenant Charles B. Gatewood, Paul Perona as Rube Burrow, Don, Red, Barry as the outlaw Milt Sharp, Kim Spaulding as Doc Holliday, the frontier dentist and gunfighter, Shabuli, later of Rawhide, as Jim Younger, Rick Jason as Joaquin Marietta the notorious Mexican bandit of the California Gold Rush, and Anthony Caruso as another California bandit, Tiburcia Vasquez. Glenn Strange, prior to his role as the bartender Sam Noonan on Gunsmoke, portrayed Sheriff Billy Rowland. Douglas Kennedy starred as gunfighter William P. Longley, Jack Elam portrayed Black Jack Ketchum, and I. Stanford Jolly played Sheriff Bascom in the episode Black Bat, with Arthur Space in the title role. Gloria Winters of Sky King appeared as the young female band at Little Britches in the episode of the same name. Later known through the 1981 film Catalani and Little Britches, James Best co-starred with Winters as the outlaw Dave Ridley. Greg Palmer appeared in the penultimate episode as Joseph A. Jack Slade of Julesburg, Colorado, who killed and mutilated the stagecoach robber and horse thief. Jules Benny, John Dana portrayed Sheriff Henry Plummer of Idaho Territory, who was hanged in 1864 by Montana vigilantes. Lane Bradford and Mike Reagan played henchmen Ned Ray and Red Yeager, respectively. In the final segment, John Archer appeared as L.H. Musgrove, who steals a herd of horses from a railroad stockyard. Matt Clark tracks the stolen herd, while Jonesy investigates a murder at the railroad telegraph office. The detectives soon suspect that both matters are related. In 1868, Musgrove was sprung from jail and lynched by a vigilante mob in Denver, Colorado. DVD release. All episodes are in the public domain and available through DVD and YouTube.